All right, Sunday evening. 64 according to my van, but it's 68 according to the Y. Heading to the bank. Just had a nice busy day on a Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday was like slow. I don't know what the deal was there, but all I had was one estimate and again, another customer coming in making cash money and they're expecting a refund and <laughs> they're not getting jack. So he's like, oh, okay, that's all I need. Well, I gotta charge you 20 because, you know, I gotta pay for my, my return that I had to use. So, yep. Anyway, a few of you guys have been checking in, how, asking how I've been doing and all that. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's been tough. You know, I've been busy, um, you know, handling the tax business from, you know, pretty much by myself. And I'm actually, again, amazing myself each day. Even some of the tough customers, you know, that are only coming in for estimates and then that's all they do. You know, just basically <laughs> wasting my time. But trying to be polite, you know, I'm hoping they come back or will still, you know, use us for services in the future. Because I tell them, you know, I'm trying to keep everything open and and all that. So, yeah, I can't quite make it. I would go over the curb. I don't want to mess up my van. Man, weird looking bike rack. How's the Starbucks looking? If you don't get blinded, eh, it's coming along. Walls. I, don't know if we're, I guess they're going to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's President's Day, so the banks and post office are closed. So I'm going to be stacking up on stuff to uh, get mailed off on Tuesday. But yeah, I've been uh, handling things, you know, it comes and goes. I mean, honestly, I have my good days and I have my bad days. I've um, been going through the room, you know, packing up my wife, some more of my wife's stuff. I've got a bunch of garbage bags full just haven't made a video of it because again it's just too depressing you know packing up her part of our world you know in our house you know again doing taxes that's been keeping me busy um keeping me focused and all that so yeah we ready to come to the bank here but uh, it is. It's just. It does. It just comes and goes in waves. It really does. Um, yeah, packing up the room, uh, being out in the yard with the plants, and you know, they're starting to bloom. You know, the weather has been really getting crazy here. Temperatures have been in the 70s, and they're going to be. I think we're even going to push 80 at the end of the week. So everything's starting to bloom, like you know. They're saying 10, two weeks ahead of schedule. I don't know what this dude's doing. Are you going to go to the ATM? Oh, wow. You can't move up just because your girl's at the ATM? Moron. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just wait. Wow. I don't know what this ditz up here at the ATM is doing. Pushing three, four minutes now. I don't know if this is this dude's woman or what. Why the hell he's like so far up? Why he can't just drive on up here? I mean, unreal. I guess not. It's just some goof. <laughs> unreal. Well, thanks for taking your time. <laughs> Well, this guy's in and out. That's good. Well, let's see. Let me go ahead and make my deposit. Uh, well, no wonder. I have to go another ATM. Because this one is not accepting cash. Unbelievable. That's why the dude was in and out so quick. That figures. Alright, well, I'll just continue driving to the other ATM across town and uh, make my deposit there, I guess. All right, good, and the signal's working with me, excellent. Oh, come on, idiot, move. Wow, unreal. Taking his time, making a turn, what a moron. So, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, my, uh, 
my moods are, you know, they just come and go. Depends on the day. I start cleaning out that, you know, clean up some more stuff in the room. You know, I come across, I mean, they're just pictures, stuff that I had forgotten about. Um, you know, and then of course going through clothes, packing it up in the bags and uh, all of that. It's like, you just, you know, sometimes you just forget about, uh, you know, you forgot about some of these outfits and all that. And, oh, I remember this. And, you know, times we were... I mean, sometimes I actually remember the outfit of what, you know, she was, you know, when she wore this for some evening out or something like that. And I got to have to bag it all up. I mean, you know, right now, yeah, like I said, it's, it's still tough. You know, it's been five weeks, five, over five weeks, I guess. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her stuff yet. I'm probably just going to leave it bagged up in the room for a while until you know, her family, if they up in Charlotte, if they want to come and go through it. But uh, I think there's a donation place that, uh, I mean, I could take it to the place I've gone for my donations, but it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I was told there might be some places that I'll actually come pick it up in a truck. And if that's the case, then that's probably what I'll, I'll use. You know, I'll just give them a call or find out who it is give them a call and uh, yeah say come pick this stuff up so but like I said I'm just gonna hold off on that for now it's just the boutique room is now the storage room for all her stuff so all right, I'll make my turn here and uh, continue on have to drive across town just to make a deposit, but the machine's not working now. It's not going to work tomorrow either, being a holiday. So, well, so we'll just make this a driving around vlog and seeing what we see. Looks like 181 for Mr. Express for gas. The gas is still holding steady. And, uh, But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't wish this emotional trauma on anybody. That's, that's the truth. This is just really, who knows how long this is going to last. I mean, it's just, mm, unreal. QT 181 as well. We'll just follow the train of cars. It looks like everybody's going the same direction. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like I said before, you know, my mom has really helped me out with food and stuff like that. I've still got a lot of home-cooked food to eat, like homemade barbecue and uh, spaghetti and meatballs. And I think I've still got some mac and, mac and cheese. So, yeah. Another reason I want to hurry up and get home. I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten much all day. Uh, of course, I'm going. I'm kind of going back in that. Uh, um, you know that stress diet. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to eat, but at the same time, I just don't really have much of an appetite, and that's one of the reasons why I've lost so much weight. And uh, the doctors even recommended, you know, sending me down for a. CT scan, you know, to make sure everything's okay with my organs and all that because I have dropped a lot of weight and in a short amount of time. So, you know, my mom and dad are real happy, you know, that I've dropped a lot. And I was going through my records there. It was like the highest I was was like two years ago. That was 244. And then I dropped to like 230, around 230. Then I was down to around 212 and last check I was around 209. So, I mean, um, you know, if you go back from my high to low, yeah, I've lost over 30 pounds. Uh, yeah, I seem to have slowed down a bit. You know, I'm still above the 200 mark, but I think that'll, I'll probably reach that maybe this year. So, which will be good. I mean, again, just making sure everything's okay with my, my organs and all that, that I don't have any 
issues. Some soccer going on, looks like. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm going to be getting a little mechanical work done on the van here. I'm going to go in first thing in the morning and get the rotors replaced. So I at least got something happening tomorrow. And then probably maybe some more taxes, hopefully. I mean, this is, this is our time of year. So... Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to make the signal. Let me see, because they're going... Yeah, maybe I can. Signal work with me, awesome. So now we'll shoot on in. Check Target to see if they had any Cokes on sale. No, no, they don't. So I'm starting to look. My stash, I mean, I'm doing all right on my stash of Cokes, but I'm already starting to keep an eye out. I figured maybe there'd be some President's Day sales or something going on, but nope. All right, let me try again with this deposit here, so stand by. Oh, these are some new ATMs, weird looking. Processing cash. Huh. Wow, what a temperamental machine. It wouldn't take some of the bills. Took, finally took all of them except for one of them. So I just kept it. Like, I'll just cash it somewhere, I guess. I don't know. But, man. Temperamental machine. So, yeah. What else am I rambling about here? Um... That's pretty much what I've been doing behind the scenes, I mean, to be honest. You know, just kind of going through her stuff and packing it up and throwing a lot of it away, honestly. I mean, I mean, I, you know, mostly it's just papers. Um, Mary Kay stuff, for example. Um, you know, there's so many Mary Kay magazines. She was into Mary Kay a lot. Um, selling that off to the side. I mean, I don't know. I didn't think it was very successful. I mean, she had some you know, good days, but of course she was promoting that with our business and all that stuff, so it was just, uh, yeah, it would come and go, you know, I know her sister did real well, actually got the Grand Prix, like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, but she had to maintain a certain level, and of course she couldn't maintain it, and had to turn the car back in, and all that, it's like a pyramid scheme, honestly, I mean, Mary Kay, Avon, you know, I mean, it's just a different, different, style pyramid scheme is pretty much what it is so all right got the green sweet but uh yeah i'm finding a lot of a lot of old mary Kay stuff i'm just throwing out or i mean it's really some of it's used and mostly the magazines i mean some of it that's new i'm giving it to my mom because she actually likes it so but uh yeah start going through all this stuff. A lot of dust. <laughs> Digging up a lot of dust. So, of course, my sinuses hate that. Goof and his stupid, looks like a vanilla ice wannabe. <laughs> this bebop system in his piece of crap car. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, at least the sun is set. I had my, had my sunglasses on because I thought I was going to need them. But just driving around trying to find a working ATM. Uh enough to make the sun go down so I wouldn't get blinded going home. But, yeah, I mean, I'll probably do a video around the, the house and all that eventually, but right now I just, just don't feel up to it, you know, so... I guess. So I make my turn. Come on, Chrysler, you can move a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Pick it up with something. Pop alert. Pop alert. Whatever that is, I don't know. Okay. Just continue on. No trains, sun is setting. Yeah, this weather's been been nice. You know, for middle of February, like I said, it's usually 
our coldest month. And uh, not this year. So it's going to be interesting to see just how hot it gets for the summer. My guess is it's going to be brutal. Anywho, yeah, I'm pretty much about home as I follow this Red Ranger. Oh, good, he's going to move. All right. So, yep, I'll just go ahead and probably wrap up this to and fro ATM and vlogging about memories in my house and all that. So, yep. Oh, wow, get out of the road, goof. So, yeah, until the next thrilling video, probably tomorrow morning. <laughs> Adios.